Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at my favourite things in Epcot. This video is going to be breaking down my favourite things that I've enjoyed and experienced while in Epcot. Attractions, restaurants and shows. Since I went in 2018 there's been a lot of changes in Epcot. There's new attractions such as Guardians of the Galaxy and Ratatouille. There's new restaurants such as Space 220 and there's new shows including the Encanto show. So there is a quite a lot that I would love to go and experience, but that isn't that this isn't that video. This is about the things that I've really enjoyed doing, the memories that I have. And first up, attractions. Um there is quite a large attractions that I really do enjoy. I used to really enjoy Test Track as a teenager. I again, I really enjoyed Mission Space as a teenager, but as I've grown up and older they're less high up on my list i enjoyed frozen ever after both what it is now and its previous incarnation um i enjoy a log flume so i do enjoy that one i enjoy figment i remember going in 1995 and enjoying it i remember going in 2000 i remember going as a child and enjoying figment um i enjoy soaring i think it's a fantastically well done simulator um but I think for me, the one that holds the most nostalgia, the one that holds the most memories, I remember riding it with my parents, I remember riding it with my family, I remember riding it with my wife, and it is Spaceship Earth. Uh, I think it's a really good attraction. It's a slow moving omni mover, which means that sort of it points you in different directions, the carriage points you to where it wants to look, and it just constantly ro moves around unless there's issues loading on and off. But I think it's a really good uh, attraction that's all within the icon of um, Epcot, the golf ball, for lack of a better term. And I really enjoy it. I think it's very chilled out. I think it's very mellow. Um, it's got some really good animatronics. It's got some really good memories. And I just remember, like I say, I remember riding it with my family. I remember riding it with my wife. So it's just one of those that I remember and have some fun memories. For restaurants, I, uh, Epcot is very difficult because there is such a wide range of different um, restaurants and eateries. I've unfortunately never been to Epcot during a festival and it is on my wish list, on my bucket list. So you can go and see that. That needs updating because I've done some stuff since and some stuff has gone. So um, in terms of things that I've eaten, uh, there's always the Yorkshire Fish and Chip Shop love going there i loved le salier i think that was one of the best steakhouses i've ever been to i also enjoy the mexican cuisine sunshine seasons um i think is a good quick service because of the variety of options it's not holding very many memories i do have some when uh, meeting my mum there um but it's not one that i have got a massive memory of um i think it has to be that i'll have to go for tepen edio uh, the Japanese restaurant, um, it's the where they bring the food to you and they cook it on a grill that's there and it's such a good fantastic experience. I loved going to do that, did it on my honeymoon, I did it with my in-laws in 2018. It's one that I do enjoy going to and I think it is one that I do would go back to again. Um, I think it's a great choice if you are on the dining plan and it is one of my favorite place. So it's got some really good memories for me. And finally show. So there isn't that many shows that I can think of um, at Epcot from when I was growing up that's still around. Um, uh, the movies in the cinema uh, surround sound have all changed. Well, the Canadian has, the Chinese was supposed to, but it's not. Um, the French uh, cinema has changed and it's now Beauty and the Beast as well as Impressions de France. Um, I mean, there's the American Adventure that stands out, but I think I've always enjoyed going to watch The Jaminators. I think it's very different. Uh, it's a street performance and I've always been a fan of percussion. I really do enjoy it. And I think they're a good, um, loud, if that's a problem for you, but I think that they are enjoyable. Um, I think also for an entertainment point of view, I've had some good interactions with characters. 
uh, but I find it very difficult to pick one particular character. I enjoyed meeting Anna and Elsa. I've enjoyed meeting Jeannie in um, Epcot. I've got I have fantastic memories of meeting Aladdin and Jasmine. I think it's very difficult if I was to pick one particular character, whereas um, shows I think for me I really enjoyed going to see the Jaminators and I would make a, an effort to go and watch them maybe with a drink or a snack or something like that and just sit down and chill or just watching the Jaminators go off. So let me know in the comments below what is your favourite things that you have done in Epcot. Let me know about the new attractions that I mentioned at the start. I've not had a chance. I hope that they're really good. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe or contribute however you can to support the channel. Just thank you for getting to this part of the video so far. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.